Hey guys, it's Seely Talks, and I'm coming to you with some news out of College Park, Georgia today. So today, the Fulton County Sheriff's Department had time today, and they conducted a massive raid at a discount mall, aka Flea Market. So they conducted this massive raid, and they stated that they have confiscated a retail value of $1 billion dollars of knockoff or counterfeit items so they have stated listen we're coming in no one should be selling knockoff items we didn't know that this was going on this is strictly prohibited this is so silly because flea markets and discount malls have been around for a while and it is not something new that they sell items that maybe people cannot for, afford at retail value. People still want to look nice. Right now, we're coming into some normalcy after this pandemic, and people want to dress nice. They want to go to their interviews. They may want to go hang out with friends. They want to look cute. Everything is social media nowadays. So they want to look, you know, put on some nice stuff and take a picture and post it and make it seem like that they are doing something. Like my grandmother used to say, living a champagne lifestyle on a 40-ounce budget. So they conducted this raid. And I just feel like this is very sad for the community because people actually shop there people can't wait to get paid so that they can go into the discount mall and get nice items so i'm not really feeling it and then they indicated that this is because they are trying to protect the integrity of local businesses and they also call this flea market a danger to the community what makes it a danger to the community because people are getting nice things at a lower rate. We're already going through inflation right now. We're already struggling to put gas in our cars and food on the table. And so now we can't look nice. On the flip side of things, I feel like that they are looking into these items to see if they are real. And they are really high valued items that are being sold maybe, you know, on the back end, like, hey, step back here, let me show you the real stuff. Because there has been a lot of smash and grabbing that has been going on. And I'm not a fan of thieving, stealing. I feel like people should work for what they want, work hard for what they want, save up for what you want, and go buy that shit. And don't steal it. We don't want to see you stealing because what happens is every time you steal, prices go up. So now we are in inflation. So I think that the smashing and grabbing has gotten so played out. And I feel that, um, you know, this actually affects what's going on at these flea markets and discount malls. And people don't even realize that they're looking at things as a quick dollar and they don't have the money to get it. So the next best thing is to steal it. So then the flip side to that is that these high-end brands that have stores, they don't want to put their stores in areas that they feel will not be successful and will be targeted by thieves. So real estate now is like, the wealthiest thing you can have to pass down from generation to generation, even with storefronts and things like that. So investigators are trying to protect the integrity of the community because they're wanting to make sure that these stores want to have um, a spot in their community because not only does it bring in tax dollars and money, it brings in tourism and people want to come, they want to purchase, they want to buy. And so these thieves are actually bringing down and depreciate in these neighborhoods. And they don't even realize that or see that because all they want is a quick dollar, which is pretty sad, but it's true. Gucci ain't did shit to y'all. So the next couple clips are of the raid and the investigators just indicating what the retail value of the merchandise is and it's totaled to one billion dollars that's a lot of money 
But I also feel both sides, you know, of why the rape happened. I do feel like there are more things going on in society that can be taken care of right now. Um, more manpower could go towards so many other things. But this is something that's happening now. So, again, I love the flea market. I love the discount market. I've been there. I've shopped there. Um, and people like looking nice. When they can't afford certain items, you can always depend on a flea market. And they know they sell counterfeit items. Come on. It's been happening for years. So, I do feel that there is a bigger entity Please like, than just share, the community uh, right now. So, first all right. Season different types of clothing, shoes, and all types of merchandise with names such as Michael Cole. Um, it was pretty smooth. Pretty I could smooth? say he hit it pretty smooth. You got a big smile smooth. on your face. Thank you. He hit it pretty smooth. What did he hit pretty smooth? County Sheriff's Major says this is a search warrant and this booth contains counterfeit. Gucci, Fendi, Chanel, and more. This right here, she says, is a search warrant and this booth contains counterfeit and over here a search warrant and more counterfeit she tells us ha more than a hundred search warrants executed we're told in this building today Home County police search warrant all occupants come out hands up there was a raid on was right. It is an opportunity for us to uh, remove millions of dollars worth of counterfeit goods. Four or five months, we've had our eye on this location, and our investigators have, have made uh, straw purchases and uh, worked with the DA's office to really shut down this operation. Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labatt says the cavernous collection of various vendor booths near the corner of Godby Road and Old National Highway contain thousands of items of fake designer merchandise, but real deputies from his agency and real officers and agents from a slew of others assisting raided the place. How much counterfeit? Last estimate is seven. 750 million to 1 billion. That's if it were priced at the retail for the real thing. At the retail value, yes, sir. Fulton County Sheriff Sergeant Hubert Brannon escorted us to various booths. Is this Gucci? No, it's not, sir. And Fendi? No, sir. All the big name brands, Christian Dior, they're not the real thing? They're not. And this is a different booth, Fendi, Prada, Chanel, etc. Inside this location, there are approximately 120 booths, and we have search warrants for 111. Wow. This shoe is a Nike Dior, sold for about $2,000, and the resale would be about $20,000. You could see the flaws in it around the edges and the bad stitching. Those are fake Rolex watches. And at this booth, you're undercover bought a Rolex for how much? For $70. Federal Homeland Security investigations on scene. We do IPR, which is intellectual property.